What is populism? This concept we hear about when we open the TV or radio or just take our cell phone out to listen to, to watch the news or listen to a podcast. According to political scientist Müde, we are living in populist times and indeed populism was chosen as the word of the year by Cambridge Dictionary in 2017. Some scholars have called this concept as slippery, spectral and even sexy, whereas Mueller has said it's one of the most misinterpreted concepts of our time. Indeed, many scholars have not uh, reached a consensus whether it's an ideology, political style, logic or performance. But why should we care? Why should you care? Well, the populist um, victory trap is undeniable at the moment. Uh, they have doubled their mean vote share in the last 50 years in Europe from less than 7% to 14 And if you look across the Atlantic, the US or to India or even Israel, we can say that populist radical right parties are a part of the mainstream. If you look at my home countries, Finland or Belgium, the mere presence of populist parties are shaping policy. And here in Italy, we have two populist parties in the government at the moment. In my research, I acknowledge the concept of populism to the contemporary definitions and approach it in the hybrid media system. To put it simply, I observe what populism is in the legacy media, which refers to TV, radio and newspapers and the digital media, in this case Twitter. Legacy media and digital media are part of the same hybrid media system, even though they follow a different logic. My data consists of tens of thousands of tweets from Italy, Belgium and Finland and hundreds of newspaper articles from each three countries. The focus point is the European Union elections of 2019 and these countries have been chosen because the prominent populist presence in the countries and of course because I also comprehend and speak these languages so I will not need translation. I will uh, propose to contact, I'm conducting a content analysis using uh, mixed methods and within the research questions you can observe from my slides, I will see how populism, but also populist actors and non-populist actors emerge from legacy media and uh, digital media. These results so far have already provided and shown us how in the hybridization of the media system, poly populist logic uh, has been created and also how populist communication has been observed, created and retweeted. I hope that the initial and the last results will also show us and give us an answer to the debate whether um, populism is a threat to democracy or not and maybe the next time an angry mob tries to storm a parliament house uh, provoked by populist actor and digital media we will be more prepared. Thank you.